am. <laughs> Too forward? No. <laughs> no, not at all. I guess I wanted to thank you for tonight, and um, a kiss seemed appropriate. Well, I, uh, <laughs> I gotta say, I really like your instincts. <laughs> <laughs> well, we might as well put this to good use. Mm, you read my mind. Yeah, that's one of my many skills. <laughs> so what am I thinking now? Um, you want me to put on some music and uh, dim the lights. You're good. Right? You're so smart. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. Liam's gonna be okay. I, we, you know, mm -hmm. I, we don't even have to talk about that. I know. Because I'm not even not, thinking no. yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mind reader. Liam and Ivy are swimming around up there. Yeah, they're swimming all right. Swimming along together in the sun. <laughs> you know, if she hadn't have been in Paris that day, I I have no regrets. I know, I know, it's just, she fell and the course of your life changed. And that's huge, Hope, I mean, it's gotta be affecting you. You don't have to pretend that it isn't, not with me. You're not telling anyone about this. You pushed Ivy into the Seine. Yeah, it wasn't hard. Her perched on that little edge and just a little uh. With her in the water, you knew that Liam would be distracted. <laughs> I knew he couldn't pass up a good old fashioned rescue mission. <sighs> Keep him away from hope. Yeah. So she turned to her son, her husband. Funny how things have a way of working out. So exactly how much time have you spent in a straitjacket? Because you are completely insane. Stop calling me that. Insane! I am a mother. I did what had to be done. And look, Hope and Wyatt are married. And how long do you think that's gonna last when Hope finds out what you've done? Why should she? Because I'm gonna tell her. And Liam. No. And Wyatt. Hope and Wyatt are happy. You're not going to mess with that. Normally I wouldn't. I appreciate what Wyatt has, thinks he has, but Liam is miserable. Oh, oh, there you go, there you go, playing favorites again. Yeah, you're giving Liam everything that he wants while you're making Wyatt beg for the crumb. I'm gonna give them the truth. What they do with it is up to them. You're just jealous. Of what? Ha! <laughs> Oh, big bad dollar bill tries to break up Hope and Liam over and over again, but he never succeeds. But oh. me, one little bump into that Forrester girl, and I, I succeed where you never did. I broke up Liam and Hope plenty of times, mm -hmm. and I'm not proud of it. And why is that? Because, uh, they don't belong together. Because I was an interfering, meddling father who couldn't keep his trap shut and let his son live his own life. That's exactly what I'm asking you to do. Keep your trap shut. You're right. When Ivy fell, my life changed. But now she's interested in Liam, and that makes the whole thing seem a little strange. What, you think she fell in on purpose? Not really, no. I mean, who would do that? I mean, does it even really matter how she ended up in the river? No. Maybe she jumped. Maybe she fell in. But whatever happened, the fact of the matter is, Liam didn't make it to you in time. So that doesn't give it any reason to look back and wonder about it. Especially since you ended up with, like, the most awesome husband in the world. <laughs> you got that right. Mm -hmm. I sure did. Mm -hmm. Um, oh yeah. Mm. Very smart. Mm, keep going. It's just so, so good for me. Yeah. 
I really did appreciate what you did this evening throwing this this dinner party. Good, so you did have a good time. Are you kidding? Yes, of course I did. I, I almost forgot I was in Beverly Hills. I felt like I was in the outback. Okay, yeah. okay good. That, that's all I wanted. I just, I just, I wanted you to forget your troubles for a little bit. That's all I really intended. <laughs> Look, I, I want you to know I, I didn't have any ulterior motives or anything like that. I'm, not that I'm, I'm complaining about where this is heading. <laughs> well, that makes two of us. Feeling better? Mm, yeah, I am. Um, not that I was feeling bad. Just I know that whoever Liam spends his time with and whatever he does, I I don't need to get involved. You really, really don't. Just have to take a leap of faith and trust that it will all work out for him. Mm -hmm. Like it did for us. It's exactly what we did. Mm. Took a leap of faith. Leap of faith? Okay. Woo! Best jump of my life. I'd do it again and again. Except next time, we can't. worried things weren't going so well. <laughs> I know, I know. I was trying so hard not to be a killjoy tonight, and you did such a nice thing having us all over. And all I did was, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it really was too soon for me. <laughs> Look, I want to help you realize that there is life after hope. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Don't get involved. The kids need to live their own lives. I'm not the one pushing people into rivers. No, you're trapping them in gondolas or getting their fathers out of prison. God knows what else over the years. You know what, you, you should be thanking me. Thanking you? Yeah, yeah. Why were you working so hard to break them up in the first place? Liam belonged with Steffi. And he doesn't now? She's not an option now. Well, neither is Hope. She's married. This isn't even about Steffi. Hope never made Liam happy. You knew that. But why it is different? One look and it's obvious there's something deeper there. Doesn't justify what you did. What did I do except give Hope the chance to admit what she really wanted? She took the coward's way out. She wasn't ready to admit that she preferred Wyatt, so she, she sent Liam through all of these ridiculous hoops. Fly to Paris, meet me after my photo shoot, or else. Come on, a woman who is truly in love with a man doesn't give him ultimatums like that. She just gave herself the out she really needed. What about Liam? There are plenty of women out there that are not his brother's wife, and I would think you don't want your sons fighting over the same girl anymore. Wyatt is happy. In time, Liam is going to be happy. So be a good daddy. Stop interfering. You're going through a difficult time. Hope married your brother. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I know how that feels because I don't, but I just, I want you to know that I'm here for you and I'll, I'll listen and I'll, I'll throw boomerangs around for you <laughs> if you want. <laughs> Thank you, that's, that's, that's exactly what I need, someone to listen and boomerangs. So many boomerangs, lots of boomerangs. Okay, You're gonna good. teach me how to throw one, right? Yeah, yeah I'm, yeah, I'm really good at it. I've done it like once. Oh my God, and you call yourself an Australian. I know I failed you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made me laugh. 
<laughs> at a time in my life. No, you have not failed me. Uh, is everything oh, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot I put this in my calendar. Hope and I adopted this cat and uh, we're kind of sharing him and I'm supposed to drop him off tonight. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like shared custody. Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, you could call it that. Well, I, I think that's adorable and I think you should get out of here. I don't want you getting in trouble with the feline court. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm actually dreading this so much. Why? Because going to that house where Hope and Wyatt are living as man and wife. It's... Oh yeah, having to drop the cut off with his stepdad. Oh my God, you get it. You so <laughs> get it. Ivy gets it. Well, can you call me in the morning and let me know every horrific detail, please? Yeah, you know what, I will. Hope didn't make this decision on her own. You made it for her. Sometimes people need a little help. Push. Off a bridge. Well, if that's what it takes. That's what we do, people like us. We take action. Quinn, stop. Quinn, stop believing that we're alike. Oh, but we are. More than you care to admit. Do you know why Brooke is not married to you right now? Hmm? It's because you're a leader. You're a man. You do what needs to be done. You dumped Ridge out of that helicopter, just like I dumped Ivy off of that bridge. That's what we do. We get the job done. People like Brooke are intimidated by us because we make moves that seem a bit aggressive and that scares them and they back off. They sit back and they wait for life to happen. And they're oh so surprised when it does, but not you, not me. We know what we want and we go after it. Now I want Wyatt to be with Hope. And deep down, you do too. Hey. Hey. I brought you a pint. Chocolate peanut butter, right? Oh, my favorite. What was that Liam I saw driving away? Yes? Hmm, I'm surprised. Thought he was leaving a long time ago. Turns out the party was a success after all. Thank you. What, for the champagne? No, for listening and understanding. Those are chapters one and two in my husband handbook. Oh, you have a handbook? Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Of course, it's on my side of the bed. I read it every night. Mm. Well, um, keep reading. It's working. Good. Yeah. The handbook also says to invite your wife to join you in the shower, which oh. is where I'm heading. That sounds great. It's just, you know, you sing in the shower, so it's kind of distracting, you know, because it's so beautiful, of course. Beautiful. I'm taking song requests. Oh, well, then get to scrubbing. I'll be right, right. there. Never interfere in Liam's life again. I have what I want. There's no need for me to ever think about him again. And leave Wyatt alone as well. Let him and Hope live their life. Does this mean that you're gonna... It means that I can't stand you. And I would like nothing more than to see the three of them tear you apart. But the fact is, Liam and Hope 
never worked. And there's no use pretending otherwise. So your secret is safe. And so are Wyatt and Hope. So he kissed you? Yes. Meaning? This wasn't like the other times. This was, I don't know, it felt real. <laughs> Ivy? I know. This is huge. Uh, maybe. Your first real kiss? Yeah, it's huge. I just want him to be happy. Well, I would say he is well on his way. I'm, to I'm sorry, I totally forgot no, you were dropping no. Boo off tonight. Hi, baby. Oh, hi, my sweet love. I missed you. <laughs> I'd invite you in. No, no, I wouldn't. I, I don't, I don't want to intrude. I probably should have texted. No, it's fine. Confirm. No, 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 it's I, fine. It's fine. I bought that uh, cat toy you told me about. Oh, good. Yeah, the, the, the one with, with the, the mice that are coming up from the pole. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you were right, man. He went nuts. I told you. I knew. Yeah. yeah. God, is this weird? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like we're parents, you know, sharing this animal. I don't think it's weird. We both care about him. Yeah. I want you to know, you know, all all those memories, all those moments that we had are, are etched into my mind. And I, it's not like I think anybody can take that away from me. I just wish, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I, I understand that Wyatt doesn't want the cat, and and it would probably be more practical if I took the full time. No, I'm no, no, just... no. That's I don't, I don't want that. Really? No. Okay. Okay. Then can you promise me something? Yeah. That Boo is ours, no matter what, no matter what happens. We we share him and we raise him. Okay. Yeah, I promise. Okay. Ah. <sighs> There's this, there's this part of my brain that keeps wanting to tell me it's not over. And then I come here and it's all very real. And I don't, I should go. So I, sh bye. Uh, Okay, thanks.